I knew you'd be here. That's a pretty pendant little doe. Where did you get it? It was a gift from the Lord's son. The Lord's son? Mother son marry him one day. When I come vain. Marry? Then it is a woman's promise, heavy on the neck of a child. Marry when you say you want to, not when mother does. But I do want to. I'd be the most powerful woman for all seven villages. And yet, you are not yet a woman. You're my little doe. I'm your sister, not your doll. You're sure just because you never wanted to marry, I don't ever want to. It's not that I'm not happy for you. It's that I care. You're not ready, Dorcas. You're still a child. I saw how you mocked the miller's daughter. Poor Kimbro, as if she wanted to lose her home. A woman would offer kindness, not vile. If you really cared for me, you wouldn't waste your days on the far side of the village. You never spend time with me. It's like I grew up and you didn't even notice. What's this for, little doe? Like you said, that's a woman's necklace and I'm just a child. I'm not worthy of it. Sodding worth it. Is there evil within the greenwood? The devil? Come today to claim my soul? Then I shall face him with God's dignity. Oh, agreed, yeah, this is the bloody primitive ages. But she did say this is the place, so. Doll to lie in the woods. By fortune's faith, I will take this doll to be a gift for Dorcas and thus apologize. I do believe that's mine. My lord, if it be yours, then take it back. Ah, don't be so hasty. Perhaps we can come to an agreement. After all, I do believe it's cherry season. You are the one. I've come a long way to meet you. Your flesh will taste so sweet upon my lips. Your flesh will taste so sweet upon my lips. Are you the devil? May I have that back? I've waited for the devil many years. If you are he, then do with me what you will. Just let this curse end with my cursed life. I'm sorry, Dorcas. Please don't weep for me. Am I the devil? <laughs> I'll let you be the judge of that. You're hurting me, sir. And for that, I am truly sorry. But without a little pain, you won't be able to receive my gift. Gift? Behold, the future. Well, for you anyway. We are currently standing in the year 2018. Well, whenever you're ready, feel free to stop staring. Why have you brought me here? To show you that I truly mean you no harm. I've done this dozens of times and you won't tell me where the treasure is for free. Treasure? So I had to save you from that truly, truly terrible time period you called home. I think you'll find this year to be much more agreeable. 
I know of no treasure, oh, sir. Don't be silly. Of course you do. You're the child of flowers. You are wearing the pendant after all. <laughs> do you honestly think that I would travel 500 years into the past and not even grab the right bloody person? Oi, give that back. Give that back right now. This bought the light before. Why not now? That's because I was using it. It won't work for you. Besides, why on earth would you want it to? Look around. You are in the future now. I don't understand. Of course you don't. You've got a primitive mind. I could go on all day about wormholes and tachyons. Might as well be speaking in tongues. You don't need to understand. You simply need to see. If Reverend could set his eyes on this, I should think he would tell me to go home while well, I still have a home to go to. Dorcas. Now what's the matter with you? 500 paces along the North Path. I've walked this route half a hundred times. I know it. Oh, what the hell are you talking about? Home. My house. It's not here. Why is it here? Oh, you're not very quick, are you? <laughs> you lived here. 500 years ago. Whatever it is you're looking for, it's gone. <laughs> but my sister. Was her name Methuselah? No? Oh, then she's dead. 500 years tends to do that to a person. <laughs> Come on. Chasing you around all day, and frankly, I'm sick of it. So come along like a good little maiden. Nope. Come on then. Ah! Up you go. Ah! Look, don't <gasps> struggle. I find that very unattractive in a girl. Um, on your way. Woo! <laughs> 
Wakey, wakey. I don't feel so much better with a drink inside you. By the time you wake up next to me tomorrow, that savage thing you called a life it just seemed like a curious dream. Go on, drink up. <laughs> right. I need a slash. You're not going to go anywhere. It'll only be me who enjoys tonight. <laughs> Excuse me? Are you in fancy dress or something? Fancy? This simple dress is all I own. You need to get with the times. took you, didn't he? I remember you. Friedswide. Dorsal was so terribly upset when you didn't come home. Who are you? The name's Kimbera. My father used to uh, work in the mill at the village. The miller's daughter? Dorcas's friend? But how can you be here? How can you be here? This is where Buick brings his girls. Once upon a time he stole a woman who captured his heart. He thinks he can make her jealous by bringing his catch of the day for a few drinks. He can't. And how do you know this? I am that woman. Now, whatever he has told you, whatever he's promised you, it's a lie. He ruins lives, that's what he does. You're going to need this. It's how his time machine works. Now this is important. You need to get away before he finishes his third drink. It'll be too late otherwise. How do I do that? You give him what he wants. I don't have any treasure. It's not treasure he's after. Not real treasure, at least. No, this treasure's only one a woman can give. He can't have it. You can't stop him. Not forever. Not unless you give him something he wants more. After you disappeared, Dorcas wept each and every day. She never did find her happiness. I can't sit by and let Buick keep you. Tell him you spoke to me. Tell him he'll find me waiting outside. My days of running are done. Oh, good. You didn't run off. <laughs> I spoke to Kimbro. <laughs> You spoke to Kim. Where is she? Where did she? Oh, Jesus. Chris? You're not at the door. Chris? Where are you? Dorcas has wept each and every day. If you really had you, you're not at the door. You wouldn't wait for me for the first time in You never did find her happiness. Wait. Wait, get back here right now! <laughs> Do you really think you could run forever? I told you, my time machine will not work for you.
Himbro told me I needed a key. You panic, caca demon. But remember what you told me? You only need to see. I believe that's mine, little doe. Friss! Are we friends again? Always. And I promise I will never leave you alone ever again. But what happened to you, Friss? You've been gone for months. It's quite the story, little doe. I like stories. You shan't like this one, sweet thing, girl. Do tell me, please. The devil came today, little doe. With promises of honey, smooth and sweet, and sweet but false. And though he swore to show me heaven, only hell lay at his feet. And though I saw such wonder in all the things the people there would do, I knew it was hell, because I was kept apart from you. And were it heaven, surely me and thee would have shared its glory, warm beneath its glow drinking the sweet nectar of Nepenthe, to live with what we only choose to know. Sweet sister, amen. I ran from you, my true and only friend. Never leave again. I won't. What's in that box? This, little doe, is where God put all the world's magic. Uh.